Can you please just talk about this? Not if you're going to attack me, no. Oh, come on, give over. If anything, it was you attacking me. Oh, right. Playing the blame game now, are we? Oh, do you know what? Sometimes I think that you're relieved that you lost the baby. Shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Wait, it's out your mouth now. And you reckon you're not trying to attack me? Yeah, right. You just wait. Oh, right. Resorting to violence now, are we? Right, I'm going to say this calmly. Well, before you do, let me say this to you definitively, yeah? If you want to be a dad someday, it's not going to be with me. So if you're that desperate to have a sprog, you're going to have to find somebody else. OK, you're free. I, Charity, set you free to go forth, scatter your seed. I'm sure there's somebody out there desperate for it. I think I've got that. Oh. The door's open. No, it's fine. You're not seeing uh, Mackenzie, have you? Yeah, just now, up at the hop. Oh, right. We just had a big row. Just kind of blew up out of nothing. <laughs> Most rows do. Still up there, then, do you know? Uh, no, he has gone into town to get very drunk, basically. He's really angry, then, yeah. I'd say more upset than anything. Well, I did say some very horrible things to him, so... Yeah, I'm not handling this at all very well, losing the baby, you know? I'm not handling it at all. I'm... I think I'm struggling. Hey. I'm sorry. Don't be. Does Mackenzie know you feel like this? No. Why not? Because I've always prided myself on being strong, you know? Bouncing back, but I can't seem to shift this. Every single morning I wake up and it's the first thing I think about. Then you need to talk to him. Moira, all he's interested in right now is trying again for another baby. Well, I'm sure that's not true. No, it is. It's all he kept banging on about. And do you know what? We've not even... We've not even had sex since we lost the baby. And he decides to bring this up now, trying again. I mean, where's his head at? He's young, Charity. But you mean the world to him. I mean, you must know that. I was really cruel to him. I didn't mean any of it. It's going to be fine. Is it? Yeah. He'll forgive you. I know he will. Losing a baby's a big deal, Charity. And yet Matt wants another already. Yeah, but if you were honest with him, no getting angry, no bells and whistles, I think he'd have a different take on it. Moira, I know how much he wants a kid. Not if it makes you feel like this. I'm just worried that if I don't give him what he wants, he'll resent me. I think you'll find that my brother can be a bit more understanding than you give him credit for. He's more grown up than me sometimes. I mean, when I got over the initial shock of being pregnant, I actually wanted this baby. And I was really happy it was with Matt because it's the only time I've been pregnant where the bloke's actually been thrilled about it. <laughs> and I know it sounds naff, but I was really looking forward to doing all the stupid bits like picking the cart and baby grows. Doesn't sound naff at all. And getting big. I was even looking forward to that and I used to hate that bit. <laughs> Maybe I was hasty, you know, saying I don't want another. No, you weren't. You need to grieve for the baby you've just lost, Charity. That's the priority here. But if further down the line you want to think about babies, then do. That's your choice. I honestly think that's what Mac was trying to say. <laughs> there is no easy yes or no answer to this. Just not now. Exactly. Keep your options open. And you may feel differently further down the line. No, I may. I probably will. Hmm. You'd make a great dad as well, wouldn't you? Aye. Yeah. And you could do one. Oh, I have several times. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really think that you've both overreacted. Yeah. Thanks, Moira. We're all great when it's not us. <laughs> but you and Mac will survive this, don't you worry. I hope so. 
Baby, you in? Mark? Please pick up. Hi, it's me. Um, so where are you? Because I just got back, you're not here. I was hoping you would be. And uh, I'm sorry, okay, for the things that I said. And guess what, I'm a total idiot because I didn't mean any of it. Me and my big mouth, eh? Um, so listen, will you just ring me when you get this? Just... I just want to see you, you know, so I can give you a hug. Tell you how much I love you. And, yeah, if you can bear it, you're right, we do need to talk. I don't necessarily mean tonight, I mean it can wait. I just want you here with me. Anyway, hopefully we'll speak soon, yeah? I love you. Please just call me back. Naughty.